Beat 602. So this morning, NASA is taking a major step at returning astronauts to the moon. Today's launch is a test flight. There are no astronauts on board, but it is a critical step to returning Americans to the lunar surface. Our Taisha Walker live this morning at Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral with the latest on the mission. Taisha, good morning. Lisa and Owen, good morning from Cape Canaveral, Florida. You know, we are waiting as NASA is getting ready to launch the rocket, which you can see likely over my shoulder here. We know that NASA currently is going through a number of pre uh, mission launches, uh, uh, excuse me, pre mission uh, tests and operations just to make sure that it is okay to launch the time on the countdown sits right now exactly one hour. This morning's test flight is the first of three missions in the Artemis series to return to the moon. It's been 50 years since the Saturn V rocket thrusted a crew aboard Apollo to the lunar surface. Artemis, the Greek female twin to Apollo, is faster and more powerful thanks to its two boosters. NASA is hoping this inaugural flight, which does not have a crew, will orbit for 42 days and provide them with data about the moon and allow them to test out a new spacesuit and heat shield upon splashdown before sending a crew in 2024. The Artemis program is, is the beginning of the next era of what we have a history and a tradition of doing of providing vision and inspiring innovation in a way that is going to benefit all mankind and womankind. If all goes well with the weather and technology or even the oxygen levels this morning, the Orion spacecraft and space launch system rockets will lift off between 7.33 a.m. and 9.33 a.m. Houston time. In a briefing last night, NASA says it's prepared for anything. So we've got a lot of practice behind us. We've put those things behind us and address each and every one. So going into this, I feel like we are in the best possible configuration we could be to get to launch on launch day. So I feel that part I feel really good about. And one of the uh, potential issues that was looming over this launch was the weather, uh, which has since cleared up. It was drizzling this morning. We did notice some lightning as we were heading into uh, this Kennedy Space Center earlier. Even on Saturday, uh, some lightning strikes did hit uh, the launch pad, but nothing hit the rocket. We are told that if for some reason NASA decides not to uh, launch the rocket today, that their second attempt will be on on September 2nd. Reporting live in Florida, Taisha Walker, KPRC, 2 News.